Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome back to part two of my declutter video. I will link the part one down below for you guys if you want to see that video, but that one had mostly the eyeshadow palettes, the big ones. This one here will go through what's left in this drawer, the single ones that are in here, and go through the palettes that are in here, and also that's in my overflow. And I'll probably bring that container down here so you can see. But let's go through this one here. These are just Z palettes of single eyeshadows. I mean, mostly from Makeup Geek and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now these, let me show you, I think, is it this one here? Yeah, it's these right here. Okay, I'm going to show you the four shadows. I know, please excuse that one. That one broke. I guess I can go ahead and get rid of that one. Yeah, this one's Curtain Call by Makeup Geek. Yeah, that one broke, so I guess this one can go. Okay, so I got rid of Curtain Call, but these shadows right here, one, two, three, four, these shadows came in a Purchase with Purchase from Lancome. I couldn't even tell you what the names of these shadows were, but these were the four shadows that I would use for my eyes. As you can see, there's no transition shade, there's no matte shade. These are what I was putting on my lids. Yeah, not a very good look. And actually, I did think that I was looking good with those shadows, but I am now getting a little bit better by watching other YouTubers do their shadows, but these are staying. Yeah, those those have hold some significance to me. So whenever I look at these, I'll see, wow, I've come a long way. <laughs> but yeah, so most of these uh, single shadows in these Z palettes are from Makeup Geek or Beverly Hills, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and my four Lancome one. All right, here's another Z palette. Again, these are mostly my metallics, my shimmers in here, and Another one here with, with mostly mattes and maybe a few shimmers. All right, and this one here, this one are mostly matte shades in here. Again, Anastasia Beverly Hills, oops, yeah. And these two palettes, these are mostly highlighters. So because of their shape, they're gonna stay in this drawer. But you have the Laura Geller ones here, and I believe, yeah, these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills their palettes and I just uh, depotted them and just put them in here just to save space. This one here by Ofra, the highlighter and contour palette. This one's staying, it's going to be staying in this drawer here just for the shape, but I really like these highlighters and contour. I mean, who doesn't like the pyramid one? Okay, let me clean this out here a little bit. All right, now let's go with this one here. We've got some Stila. All right, here, let's go with the big one here. I believe this one's Smoldering Satin. This one here is Smoldering Satin. I'm gonna swatch these for you. These are staying. This one here, it's a nice purple one. I believe this is Violet Vixen. And this one here is Pigal, Pigali, Pigali. I believe that's how you say it. That's a real pretty red one, so this one is staying. This one here is Kitten, the popular one. The nice little pretty light color. And this one here is Molten Midnight. I'm gonna put that one right here. Whoops. Did not do a very good swatch. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And here's a three-pack mini. Two of these are the same as, as my full-size ones, Kitten, and smoldering satin. So I will be giving those away to a new home. And this is the rose gold one. Let me switch that, swatch that one. I know with my veiny hands. I have four ColourPop Shock, Super Shock Shadows. This one by ColourPop. This one is Porter. This one here is On the Rocks. And this one is Drift. And this one's Hustle. I will be keeping these. I really like these. I really like the ColourPop formula. This quad from Chanel, this one was an impulse buy, but I'll still keep it because it was on sale. So finding Chanel shadows on sale is a good thing. So this one's staying. Now these right here that's in this little container. Let's see, let me turn it around this way. 
These were also an impulse buy. These were by Makeup Geek. These are the loose shadows. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be giving these away. I really don't need these. I don't reach for these. Some of the colors are just not me. I mean, like this color right here. Mm, no. Yeah, so these shadows right here, they will be going. I mean, there's a couple in here that are pretty, but I just don't reach for loose pigment. So, sorry to say, these are going. All right, let me take these out. All right, wow, look at this. It's empty. This is the one that was in my overflow drawer, so we'll go through this one. I'm just going to put this one here. I think this will fit here. Okay, yay. Hopefully it won't fall on us. <laughs> but I've got several Viseart palettes. Let's put that aside here. Let's go, let's get this one first. This is another one by Anastasia, some single shadows. And I have it in this quad because these were the four matte shadows that I would use on a go. And this one will stay. This one here by Marc Jacobs. This is the Glambition palette. Yeah, this one's staying. I really do like the Marc Jacobs formula. And I do like these colors for a nice, natural look. So this one's staying. Another one by Natasha Denona. This is the, the new one here. Which one was this one called? The Mini Sunset Palette. And since I really like the Big Sunset Palette, this one is staying. All right, I have several here from Viseart the Theory Palettes. All right, let's go through these. This one here is the Nuance, the new one, the pink one. I like this one, so this one's staying. This one here is Minx. I always keep the, the plastic covers. I just think it protects them. This one here is another favorite of mine. I really like this one. This one, you know, I could take travel, just stick this one in, in my makeup bag, and I've got pretty much everything. I've got something to set my primer, transition, an outer corner, there's shimmers. So, yeah, I'm keeping this one. This one here is Siren. I like the colors. I like this one, so this one's staying. And this one is Chroma. I think I'm going to keep this one, too, because even though it is a little bit darker than what I'm used to, I still would like to play with it and try to create that smoky eye look. So, this one's going to be staying. Oh, this one's a blush palette. I don't know what it's doing here, but it's staying, and I'll, I'll keep it in my blush drawer. <laughs> this one's Enamored. And this one by Viseart. This is the Petite Pro palette. Again, it's a nice small compact for travel and I like the colors. So this one's staying. This one here by Hourglass. This one is the Infinity. Another one that I bought on a whim, but I am going to keep this one. I like the colors. I like the, the warm browns in this one and you could also probably use this as a bronzer so this one is staying this one here it's a, the Too Faced chocolate bar I think this one came like in a kit and I will keep this one I like this one I also like the the bronzer in this one so this one's staying and this one here by Makeup Geek so this is more singles from Makeup Geek and I keep this one in this little Z palette because I reach for this more and this one's a nice one to take also to travel if I want a little bit more bling, like in this one. And it's got two outer V colors right here, a lot of good transitions. So yeah, this one's staying. And I like the, the singles in this palette. All right, here I have three singles from Kat Von D. This one's called Raw Power. This one here is Synergy and Doge. This one kind of broke. But these three right here, I keep. This with the Viseart, the Warm Mattes palette, and I'll throw these in here for travel. I really do like, so these are staying. And I have a couple of cream shadows. This one here is by Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mesmerize in Mona Lisa. And this is what I use if I want a quick makeup look. I'll just put a primer on, then I'll set it with powder, and then I'll just pop this color on my lids, and I'm good to go. And then this cream shadow by Tom Ford, this is Spice. Again, I'll just pop this on my lid, you know, do my uh, eyeliner and mascara and blush, and I'm good to go. So these are staying. Okay, we are almost done here. We've got two from L'Oreal. 
This one here is number 202. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to keep this one. 202 is a shimmer metallic one, and this one here is number 306. This is a matte. Real pretty warm brown, so I'll keep this one. These two I've had for over two years. These are just eyeshadow sticks from Bobbi Brown. This one here is in the shade Truffle and Golden Pink. Since I've had these for a while and they are cream shadows, I'm not gonna keep these or give them away. I'm just gonna throw it. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it away. This one here is Golden Pink, and this one is Truffle. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep these. I'm just gonna throw it away. Not really my colors. Two eye tints from Giorgio Armani. I do like them, but I don't like them that much. This one here is. Oops, this one here is 22 and 29. Yeah, I will keep these just for a little bit while longer because these aren't, you know, cheap. And I do want to play with these some more just, you know, for an eyelid color. Like the cream shadows, just put it on my lid and I'm good to go. Yeah, this one, okay, this one again, number 22. And this one here is number 29. Yeah, I'll still keep these and play with these, but they're not my favorite. But again, I'll still keep these. Two duo eyeshadows from Kiko. This one here is the number 15. A pretty mauve, purpley color. I like this. This is staying. This one's number 6. I like these. Oops. You could probably use this one as a bronzer, so I think that would be pretty. Let me put that one here. Yeah, real pretty bronze shade, gold in there. So I will keep this one too. Last one, and it's it's kind of dirty. I know. <laughs> this one here is by Tom Ford. It's the new single shadows. This one took me forever to figure out how to open this thing up. I finally figured it out. You just pull that down and lift that up. This one here, it's called Smoked Opaline. I believe that's what it's called. That's, I think that's how you say it. It's a real pretty olive green. This one was another impulse buy. It's not very pigmented on my hand, as you can see. Uh, this one wasn't cheap, and this one was an impulse buy, but... I think I'm going to give this away to a family member. Yeah, I'm not going to reach for it. This one was just I bought online just to see what it would look like. But I wasn't impressed with it, so this one is going. All right, that's all on this one. And you know what? I just remembered some other palettes that was in the old YouTube room. So let me get those real quick. All right, here they are right here. Let me see if I could put that there. This one here, I haven't opened this one yet or, you know, let alone use it. And this one I got in the Lucky Bag by Beautylish. So let me open this one. And this here is by Kevin Aquan. This is the Art of Makeup palette. It's real pretty. I think it's like an all look in one. You've got highlighter, contour, blush, and some eyeshadows. So I will keep this one. And then these are the Snow White, the 1937 collection eyeshadow palettes. This is the Wishing palette and the Keep Singing palette. I did a video on these and I'll link that video down below. But here is the Wishing palette, real pretty. It's got the original cell from the movie Snow White as the cover. And here's what the shadows look like. Sorry about the reflection there. But again, you know, I won't harp on these too much because of the video. I do have a video out there. But I'm going to keep these. These are really a nice collector's item palettes. And some most of the shadows are really nice. A couple of them were kind of dry and, and weren't blendable. But again, I'm going to keep these just for a collector's item. And here's the Keep Singing palette. Again, original artwork cell from the movie. And here are the shadows. Real pretty. The red one was one of the ones that didn't blend out very well. But... All in all, it was real nice, so yes, I'm keeping these. This one here is another Snow White, the 1937 collection. I should mention that the first two palettes from Snow White, they are from Besame, and this one's also from Besame Cosmetics. 
And this one came out first, and this one sold out right away, and I was fortunate enough to get one. And when you take it out, it looks just like the book, The Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You have the Seven Dwarfs embossed right here. Real pretty binder. And on the back, that's what the back looks like. And then when you open it up, there's a picture of Snow White with a mirror right there. Again, with the plastic. I know I keep the plastic, but I just think it protects my shadows. So here's a little plastic overlay right here, and it kind of tells you the colors that were used on her face. So you remove that, and there's a pretty picture of Snow White. And here's the story of how Bessemer Cosmetics was able to do this in, co in collaboration with the Disney Art Department. And here are the shadows right here. And again, these were the exact colors that was used in the movie. And these are all matte shadows. Let me take this plastic cover off. But again, all matte shadows. And this one here, I've used it, you know, a couple of times and I really like it. But again, I'm keeping it just for collector's items because it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. At least the packaging, I mean, that's just real pretty. So this one I'm keeping. And this one here is by Perfusion. This is the Mixed Metals Eyes and Lips in the shade Peach. I bought this at Target and this whole package was $10. So I was going to try this out and see if it was worth $10. And here's what the eyeshadows look like. I think that's a good angle right there. But those are the shades right there. It's got some mattes and some shimmers. And it comes with a lip pencil, a brush and a lipstick or a lip uh, lip cream. So I had this off to the side so I could, you know, maybe do a video on this palette. Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. But that's why it wasn't in this drawer. So for $10, really can't go wrong with that. So this one's staying. All right, I guess now you could say that I have decluttered. Let me move this dirty thing out of the way. And we've got an empty drawer. Yay! So yay, we finally have an empty drawer and I can't wait to put the palettes back in here in an organized, neat manner and it will probably be a lot more accessible to get the palettes from this drawer. And hopefully I've made some room for some new palettes coming their way. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my declutter video, the part two, part one and part two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.